Provo B is doing another install today. Um, today we're doing this Honda Accord. It's a 2006. Now, typically with these Accords, because of the odd shape of the radio and the HVAC controls tied in with the radio, we can't really do a basic replacement without spending quite a bit. Commonly, you see people down below put a uh, double din or single din. You can get kits for this dash pocket, but yet you still have this awkward interface up top. Um, so, as an alternative, today we're doing a, a factory aux adapter. And what this will allow us to do is use a iPod slash 3.5 millimeter jack in. And we're going to install this. Um, you got to make sure you have the, the aux button or the CD button allowing you a specific empty port on the back of the radio for this to plug into. Super easy. Plug and play. We're going to run the cords out this bottom pocket. So first thing you can do on this install is um, pop the key in, turn it one click, and pull the gear shifter all the way back. It just gives us more access to the um, this bottom pocket here as we do this install. And this is all just held on with clips here. Clips all the way around. There's two harnesses, which you unplug if you have the uh, heated seats. And then once you get that back here, you're going to see these two screws which you may or may not have to remove. I'm going to leave that up to you. Some people remove them. But in essence, what we're trying to do is get to the... Um, you pop this out. And then you're going to expose two screws up underneath. Once you expose those two screws up underneath, um, I'll show you from that point. Okay. So we, this pops out. I had to use a little screwdriver. Flathead was in there pretty good. And that allows us to pop that out. Exposing that one screw right down in there, huh? and then just one to the other side of it. That'll allow this center portion to pop out, allowing this to come free. Okay, so that just kind of piece out. See that? And just set it off to the side. I'll have to unplug it. Okay, so I got those two bottom screws out here. I've kind of worked it loose here. It's just held on with two bottom clips back behind. And what we're going to have to do is squeeze this top portion out from up underneath the radio. Or else it won't quite fit. It's such a super tight fit. Once you get that portion out, it just kind of holding from the bottom and using a panel tool to pop from the top. It comes all out straight out, just like so. All right, now this gives us access to up underneath. And as you can see, this will be as simple as plugging that right in there. Okay, so as you plug that in, you hit CD. If you had a CD already in there, since there's a six CD disc, you just hit it again, but it's the CDC. Um, it just shows disc 101, but basically that allows this unit to work. All right, since that's all plugged in here, I've taken the, this compartment, flipped it upside down, and on the back here, there's these two little uh, holes here, and this one I shaved a little bit bigger using a file. So this little USB port fit right down inside there. And followed by it, I'll do the aux cord. Just like that. I'll feed those through. Now, I'm going to put this pocket back in. Reattach the two bottom screws so the pocket's now secure. And start reassembling. Okay, so I pop that back in. I'm going to put these two bottom screws in. So you have the rest of the cord just sitting right inside. So it can be hidden away if needed. Alright, so ashtray's back in. Um, I put this bezel around. Put that back in park, and you're good to go. Just like that. We've got our cables here. USB and 3.5 millimeter jack. I'll post a description of the, the unboxing of this part for you in case you want to see exactly what I used. If you have any questions about this install, be sure to post a comment below. Simple aux input. Great way to add other inputs to your car besides CD and the AM-FM. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.